Hello, today we got a back pad off of a Harley Davidson motorcycle trunk and it's got a rip right here and he wants that part fixed only. So we're going to tear this apart and repair we'll end up repairing this whole piece and off to the sides and the sides here and not do this. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to take my space pin and I'm going to start making reference points while it's on while it's on the pad itself. And depending on how comfortable you are is how many reference points you're going to need for yourself so Then I'm going to make reference points on these little side Okay, after I get done with that, I'm going to take off all these staples underneath to take the cover off. Okay, so I got all the staples off. Now we'll pull the cover off. And here we got the cover off. And we'll start breaking this down. Okay, so here we got that back piece that is ripped that we need to replace and the two little sides that we're going to also replace. We're going to keep this because, uh, like I said, 
the customer said he just wants that fixed. So that's what we'll do. Now I got to separate this from the whole back piece here. And I already did it with this one. So I'll do it with this one next. Okay, so now we got all three pieces. Now all my reference marks I'm going to cut those just so I have a reference point. I'll do this on the long piece too so that way I know where to sew it back together when I'm getting ready to sew it. Now I'm going to trace the pattern of this one out. And I'll uh, throw some weights on here just to keep it in place. You're going to want to flatten out your seam allowance. Either that or don't use a seam allowance at all and then add it. If you... Uh, if you don't have a, possibly if the fabrics or the vinyl or anything's ripped up and you don't have a seam allowance, so. So right here on this seam, it's still sewn, so I'll add that seam allowance. So you can either put a little plus or whatever you got to do to remind you to do that seam allowance. Make sure you mark your reference points. I haven't did, done it so far on this trace, but I'll go back over and make sure I have those. Then here is the... Uh, stapled part so if you go a little bit long on here you can always trim it down make it look better now we can go ahead and cut these pieces After you cut these patterns out, you're going to want to cut your reference points out. And what I do mean by that is where you mark the line, you just want to pinch it at that line and snip it. Then it gives you a little V, that way you can line up both your pattern. Now you're going to want to line up your reference points and start sewing.
also the front part of the pad piece on the here. Got it sewn together, and I'm gonna put it on here. And then we'll staple it. And there you got it. Put on. We'll start stapling. Kind of staple some and then check out how it's lining up before I do all of them.